I'm on a hunt for what can only be described as the world's weirdest penis. Do you think that's really wrong of me, Stuart, to have come here with the express purpose of wanting to see an echidna's penis? Look, you're looking for his wedding tackle, is that right? I am looking Stuart Nicholl and his team are studying the weird sex life of the short-beaked echidna. Rachel's just doing radio telemetry to try and locate the echidnas in this area. Uh, so Grumpy's down along his usual track, so you go through the gate. Of course, this poor thing, Grumpy, and he's really yes, such a Grumpy. he's really such a nice echidna. We've known him for such a long time. Blue Can sky, you the blue. Rain? No, blue sky's coming back. This is one of the driest parts of Tasmania. Really? Yeah. So we reckon Grumpy is somewhere under these logs. I wonder whether he's going to live up to his name when. A load of women turn up on his doorstep demanding to see his penis. Have you got him out yet? No. Oh, what have you been doing? What? <laughs> okay, we're going to get an echidna's going to fall out the side here any second now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no fuss at all. <laughs> well, that was a team effort. I'm so sorry, sir. Woo! <laughs> Do we just have to wait for this to run its course? <laughs> now I know why they call him Grumpy. Is he? Yeah. He's famous for it. The word monotreme actually means one opening. Like birds and reptiles, echidnas use this single hole for all bathroom duties. Males also have a penis tucked in there for the express purpose of mating. OK, am I going to be disappointed? You'll love it. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Camera in position. OK. You OK now? Yeah. Grumpy, show us your business. Ooh! It is. It's like a paw. It's unlike anything else, isn't it? It's, it's like a hand. It's like a hand just came out with four very distinct heads on it. Now, reptiles have a bifurcated penis, yes, don't yes. they? So it's another sort of similarity. And does this work a bit like a double, double barreled shotgun? Is that? <laughs> they may ejaculate at one side at a time. It's, it's kind of fascinating to try and think why this has evolved, you know. Is it because females are choosing males with a very elaborate penis because it's a demonstration that they've got really great genes? Or is it in some way facilitating their particularly peculiar reproductive system? It's, it's a mystery. It's definitely one of the oddest things I've ever seen. 